Yeah, all right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of buzzed right now because I was drinking rum and coke and I was editing a video. I was editing my 13 hours video and I was like, oh shit, I should do a video on that trailer I saw tonight. That's right, I filmed this last night and you're watching it today. This is as close to time travel as we will ever get. I really should, I never do videos buzzed or drunk, but here we are. So I was sitting there watching 13 hours and the trailers came on. This one trailer came on, I just, I needed to talk about it. I wanted to talk about it and then people were like, hey, do a video on that trailer. And I was like, okay, I want to, they want to see it. It's a perfect marriage. But this trailer starts out before I even say the title. The title is in the title of this video. It kind of makes it counterproductive. So this trailer starts out as John Goodman and Mary Elizabeth Weinstead and this other dude I don't know. And they're all just hanging out in their 1960s looking home. They're doing puzzles. They're just, they're just hanging out. And instead, oh, brought to you by Bad Robot. And I was like, this is kind of a different vibe. This doesn't feel like Star Trek or Star Wars. Or what is this? You hear rumblings above, like their ceiling shaking. You're like, are they in a bomb shelter? It's the first time you kind of get the vibe they're in a bomb shelter. And then the girl takes this bottle and just goes BAM and beats John Goodman over the head with it. And you're like, oh my God. Is John Goodman like Johnny Drama from 24 season two? Is he like, is, has he kidnapped these people and he's keeping them in this bomb shelter? Just, you know, cause he wants a family or something. I don't know. <laughs> this is what I was thinking. Then she hauls ass up the stairs and John Goodman's coming after her. And you're like, go, 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 get out of here. This asshole's gonna kill you. Then she, as uh, this is airlock, 101 you get through the first door and then you're in this space and you got to get through the second door so she gets to the first door and she locks it behind her and he's like no don't don't you'll kill us all and she looks out the window of her bomb shelter and she's like <gasps> she's like fear is in her eyes and then boom the title cloverfield comes out and then it's 10 cloverfield lane is the title wait, wait is that right let me check. Yep, 10 Cloverfield Lane. But no, it's just 10 Cloverfield Lane. And it says, hey, by the way, this is coming out in March. This movie is coming out two months from now. That just, that blew my mind. That is baffling. It's, it's most of the reason I want to talk about this movie, or at least this trailer. Because in this technological wonderland, nothing is ever kept secret. Everyone knows every movie that's coming out. Everyone knows every trailer that's coming out. Everyone knows what's happening all the time. And I kind of miss that world of mystery back before the internet and social media was as huge as it is now, the time where you could make a movie and keep it secret and no one really knew what it was about. I thought that was long gone, dead and buried. And then there's 10 Cloverfield Lanes coming out two months from now. It's a big deal, this is a Cloverfield sequel. No one knew shit about it. No one knew this thing was a thing until now, until it actually, the trailer dropped on 13 hours. And it made me happy. It made me happy because it showed me that movies can be kept secret until two months before they come out. And to be fair, I don't even know if this is actually a sequel to Cloverfield. It's just called 10 Cloverfield Lane that happens to be by Bad Robot, happens to be produced by J.J. Abrams. Those are the facts that line up. And if for nothing else, at the very least, it's in the same world as Cloverfield. It's some sort of Cloverfield spinoff of sorts. Now you heard rumblings and you saw their ceiling rumble. So it was like, all right, rumblings were happening to the earth. So is it, are they monster footsteps or is it shelling that's happening? Is it like the military bombing things? It could be that Cloverfield's the thematic title to things that happen in the world of Cloverfield. So in Cloverfield, it was a monster. Maybe this one's a virus or zombies of some sort. I don't know. And I love the fact that I just don't know. I suppose I can go on the internet somewhere, some website, some Wikipedia, some thing has the synopsis of this movie, but I don't want to look at it. I don't want to know it. I don't want to do it. The fact that this movie was kept so secret and this trailer was kept so secret up until two months before the movie actually comes out just shows me that they don't want you to know. All I know is John Goodman's in a bomb shelter with two younger people and one of them wants the fuck out of there and rumbling's happening. Cloverfield sequel and I'm pumped. So the 10 Cloverfield Lane trailer, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Blew my mind, but whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more. I love rum and coke.